Hi, my name is Edward C. James. I'm a Dakota State University student taking the Information Assurance 534 Ethical Hacking class. The project that I'm going to be working on is on Backtrack 5 Web Tool Demo. And what I'm going to be utilizing is W3AF GUI version. Now, essentially, what this tool is going to do, it's going to Web Spider and assess the vulnerability on on a web server now uh, the reasons why I'm not using an actual web server it's because it takes time to build a web server and I, I know it takes a little bit of money also to uh, host a web page not a whole lot actually but uh, my biggest worry was that um, I don't know how my ISP would take it if I if I run this kind of utilities I don't even know if they can if they trace it or they'll be interested in tracing it but uh, if they do uh, that could mean that um, I could lose my um, my services with them and I definitely don't want to do that so I also could not, uh, could not attack uh, any web page because I don't know any um, I'm clearly not the owner of any web page and the Dakota State University would not appreciate it if I uh, do such things with other permissions so I what I'm doing actually is that I'm simulating a web server on my Windows XP machine and how I'm accomplishing this is that uh, is by going online uh, at Softpedia and downloading reactor server 1.4 it's free it's really useful um, let's see it actually simulates Apache PHP my SQL and send mail. So to fire it up, you just click start server. That's all you do. And in order to run it, we since this is not an actual web page, we do have to know the IP address. So what we do on backtrack, we open the application that we're gonna utilize to uh, do the vulnerability assessment or exploitation. In this case uh, I'm going to be doing vul vulnerability assessment but this can also exploit and, and do many things. So it's opening up now. Okay so it opens. The very first thing we're going to do is uh, open a new profile this case we'll call it demo we'll describe it as web demo tool and click new this creates a new profile and we're going to define the extent of the scan so it's on the discovery part like I said earlier we're going to web spider it so I have to look for web spider just right over here Click that. And it even gives you a description right here. And under audit, you can do many things with it. You can uh, do file file upload. Um, you can check and see if it's uh, vulnerable to file uploads. MXL injection fishing vectors but in this case I'm, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if it's vulnerable to cross-site scripting so I check this one right here which is for cross-site uh, request forgeries and you can also do brute force and evasion uh, attacks and utilize grab but in this case I'm just going to see if it's vulnerable to cross-site scripting and here's where the uh, URL will go we could, we could use dsu.edu but of course you know I don't have permission to, uh, to do anything like that so I am actually gonna pass on that and run the attack against my local machine which normally what we would do in this case is like 
since we don't know um, we're not gonna know what if it's a if our target is Windows, Unix, or an or the tar or the or the framework they're running. So Nmap it's a really good utility uh, to find this information out. Since it's a web server, we'll just run it on port 80. We don't. We won't run it on the rest of the ports. And of course, the result then tells us that uh, port 80 it's indeed open, and we're running Apache on a Windows machine, and we're also running OpenSSL with a PHP. So it appears that we're running s several services so we'll use windows and leave this un as unknown so it can run all the vulnerabilities that um, that, that the, uh, it potentially could have on the framework not just uh, PHP we save the configuration, close it and after that we just simply fire it up now it's going to be in the discovery process and this can uh, of course take a while so what I'm going to do I'm gonna pause the video and come back once once it's done. Okay, I'm back, and it's it has done all the scanning on the web spidering tool, and also we can see that it's uh it has found the vulnerabilities right over here. find all the all the files on this web server that are vulnerable to cross site scripting forgery or forgeries I should say and now we see the we can even see it on the results it'll be right here all the files that are vulnerable to cross site scripting so from here we can manu uh, we can um basically manipulate uh, the plan for our exploitation and this was W3AF finding a cross-site scripting vulnerability